Yes. Hi guys, welcome to VETV. Today we're in the studio of my old buddy NDF. <laughs> I'm sure I'm gonna collect some cool sounds or create some cool sounds for my next production or it's gonna be a collaboration. Yeah, come on! Yo, Andy, nice studio, cool setup. We heard just a track. What are you working now on? I'm not sure what's gonna happen with it. We try some kind of a flick flag revival. We already have three ready tracks. One more, yeah, radio like. The other one more in the deep. Um, radio, you mean like more popular, like for for a yeah, mass like pop Ooh. future bass. How do you call that one at the moment? <laughs> it's I don't changing. know, but even if I like it a lot, I think it's a bit too hard for flick flag. You're just working on the track. What's actually your favorite workflow at the moment? How you start a song, how you get idea and inspiration? Hard to say. Sometimes already in the morning I know if I'm in the mood to start a track. How do you catch the idea or how you inspire yourself that I'm going to do, uh, I don't know, melodic techno today? Yeah. Or you get the order from your label? Could be all of that. But even if I don't have the inspiration for a track in the morning, then I start to work on presets or tweak a synth, making drum racks and then sometimes I find a sound or I create a sound where I suddenly have the picture of a whole track in my head. You maybe even hear the, the whole thing. Oh, yes, okay, okay. but that doesn't mean that it sounds like that in the end. <laughs> Always asking myself uh, what was actually the game changer for Flick Flag. It was two remixes. The first one was from Milky Chance, Stone Dance, and Down by the River. Shortly after that, uh, we made the remix for uh, Vans Joy Riptide. You know, with the. Yeah, uh, I know this one. Yeah, with yeah, the yeah. whistling. How many millions it has? There's a lot, I think. Uh, YouTube deleted it when it already had 120 million plays. 120 so. million? This guy deleted? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was a illegal edit. Shit happens, yeah. Cool. After two months or so, when we already had a million plays, the manager of Vance Choi contacted us, offered us to buy our remix and release it. It was more popular than the original, your remix. The original got big uh, through the remix. There, there is a whistling in it. This yeah. Did you do it by yourself? Did you whistle? Did you record somebody? Did you record yourself? Or was it a sample? How did you do this? Mother whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can show you. It's a um, contact library. So you didn't record any Whistler? Yeah. Okay, let's check it out. It was still Live 8 and um, Contact 5. Actually, should work. Just a few notes. It was a sampler. I played it uh, with the push. You play it. Okay. Download these notes for the different articulations. That it sounds naturally. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It sounds like, like somebody is whistling. It doesn't sound like a sampler. Yeah? It sounds yeah. very natural. We weren't 100% sure if About we the whistle. should keep it okay, or uh, throw out of the song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this one is something special. It really kind of stays in your head. So guys, you whistle a little bit with a sampler and it goes through the roof with like about 120 million plays. Yeah. And Andy, the last but not least, and most important for me one, this whistle sample. Maybe mm. can you change it or tweak it the way something else is happening that I can use it in my next production? It would be my pleasure. Can Maybe so we take this short part here. Yeah, why not, why not? I would like to have also 120 million, so... Yeah, whistling is the solution. Da -da -da. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Okay, nice one. Okay. Sounds weird, man. Yeah. You like it? Yeah, yeah. It's a cool one. I think it's yours. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah, next summer 2020. Yeah, yeah, got it. Remember Ooh. it.